I'm not gonna lie, we've gotten some wild shit in Dead by Daylight over the past year, but Slipknot is something I never thought would happen. What is up, YouTube? It's Spooky Loops, and I hope you're having a fantastic day so far. As mentioned previously, today's a pretty massive day for DVD. Legendary metal band Slipknot has crossed paths with Behavior to bring us yet another pretty awesome collection. However, no Survivor shirts? Not even for Sable? Are you guys idiots? So for today's video, I wanted to create four builds that are inspired by four of my favorite Slipknot songs in celebration of this sick collection. See what I did there? Unfortunately, this video will not be featuring Corey Taylor Trapper, because, like, I can't. Nicolas Cage, Iron Maiden, now Slipknot. God, please, can we just get Keanu Reeves? But before we get the video started, I wanted to take a quick second to talk about today's sponsor. Big Sopper GX for sponsoring this video. It's pretty obvious that most traditional browsers are pretty boring. Outside of your standard day and night mode, there really isn't much customization that is available on most of the browsers that are out there today. But there is one browser that changes everything, and that's Opera GX, the best browser for gamers. Opera GX takes customization to another level and lets you tailor your browser to what you like using GX mods. Maybe you're a big fan of Final Fantasy or Cyberpunk. Well, if you're like me, a big, fat, sweaty DVD nerd, I love Dead by Daylight. And by visiting the GX store, I can bring some of my favorite things to my browser. This mod features background music, keyboard, opening and closing tab sounds, themes and colors of the browser, and mod-dedicated wallpaper. So let's say there's certain things you don't like about the mod bundle. By using the mod menu available on the sidebar, you can disable or enable certain modifications that you don't enjoy. But certainly adding all these fancy things to your browser definitely would slow your PC down. Wrong. One of my favorite features using Opera GX is GX Control. This allows me to set how much CPU and memory Opera GX is allowed to use without sacrificing my game performance. You want to listen to music, maybe watch a stream, or maybe watch a video from your favorite YouTuber? That's possible with GX Control. The other traditional browsers don't give you the option to set a hard limit to how much CPU or memory they use. Take a look at this. Right there, baby. If that wasn't enough, Opera GX just got smarter by integrating AI. Opera GX is here to help you save time while you play video games. Whether you need to summarize an entire article, find related content, shorten the text, or flat out have your homework done for you. This feature is here to help. This new AI function is also available on the sidebar. With just one click, you can initiate a conversation with ChatGPT and help you with idea generation, summaries, itineraries, or even finding builds for your favorite game. Now, I know you're probably wondering, damn, Spooky Loops, this sounds amazing. But what about all my previous data that's on my old browser? Opera GX also comes standard with a quick import tool. This allows you to quickly import all of your settings from your previous browser to Opera GX, like browser history, bookmarks, and cookies. So with all that said, what are you waiting for? Download the greatest browser for gamers today using the link in the description. And thank you to Opera GX for sponsoring today's video. My first build of the video was inspired by a Slipknot classic, Wait and Bleed. This build utilizes the rates hit and run playstyle while consistently keeping survivors bleeding. Sloppy Butcher makes survivors suffer from mangled and hemorrhage status effects for 90 seconds. A nurse's calling reveals any healing action being performed within 28 meters of me. Cholerophobia makes healing within my terror radius 50% longer and healing skill checks 50% faster. An unnerving presence just makes that all much worse. My add-ons today are also super important. Windstorm Blood allows me to move 9% faster while cloaked. In the Beast Suit no longer suppresses my terror radius while cloaked, meaning I'm invisible, fast, and still get the benefits of my bleed perks. Let's do it. Ooh. This is not a <laughs> this is not a small map. Hopefully we can still make this work though. Good heavens. We may be able to make it work. We'll see. It's a lot of it's a lot of ground to cover, but we're really fast. What's up, dude? Give me a kiss to the phone. First down fast. Let's go. We'd like to see that. It's gotta be it's gotta be definitely a, a weird sensation. Having no like having a terrorist, but you can't you don't know exactly where I'm at. See? <laughs> Pretty funny. I enjoy I'm fan. I'm fan. I'm actually gonna let her go. I'm gonna go back to the heel over here, the hook. Let's get some value. Be healing. Yep, yeah, there we go. <laughs> you love to see it, man. Nope. Oh, you gotta wait. I gotta keep bleeding. Thank God for the little blood circle. I definitely missed that for sure. This is definitely a pallet. Go ahead, throw it. No! Oh my God, you're the greediest Ellen I've ever seen in space! Let's see what's going on over here. Well, I want the window, bro. I want it. I want the window. <laughs> There's the save. Are we healing under hook? Let's see. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I'm having way too much fun. Way too much fun. All right, everyone's injured. Let's cloak it up. 
He's trying to heal too? How's it going? <laughs> it's not even sloppy anymore. Holy shit. Jack, thank you so much, dude. Oh, here's some more healing. You guys, you guys have fun? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. The juice you have. Let's go over here. Are we healing? Nice. <laughs> Too much fun. Yeah, Windstorm is definitely helping out on a map that's this big. For sure. Oh, we got progress over here. Oh, yeah. Ooh, barely got it. We haven't hooked Sable once, if I'm not mistaken. Done a lot of hit and running with her. Lots and lots and lots. I know Ace is in the middle, probably. Probably gonna finish that gen. Now I think it's time we get him out of here. Hello? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up, sweet prince? How you doing, man? Massive lunge coming. Oh! Let's go over here. That's so fast. It's so fast. Ace is gonna go save Jake. We windstorm our ass back over there. Hit him with some more weight and bleed. Let's go. Nothing on nurses yet. They know I'm nearby. I don't think they know exactly where I'm in, where I am though. Okay, here's here's Jake. I'm gonna let him hang out for a second. Oh, he just DC'd? Never mind, he's gone. <laughs> it's Slipknot Day. There's no mercy on Slipknot Day. I'm sorry, you know what I mean? I, I, I didn't mean it, I didn't mean it. All right, there's a save. We zoom. You know, you, we already know what to do. It's all about bleeding and, and waiting a little bit longer. Oh. Oh, do you guys hear the big juicy terror radius coming? Yeah. What do we want? We want Ellen. We want the Ellen. Oh, yes. Loved you in the film, by the way. Bonk. We're sitting pretty. They, <laughs> they've definitely slowed up a whole lot. There's just so much. There's just so much pressure. It's crazy. Scratch marks over here. Nice. I'll give this a kick as well. Might as well. All right. Let's go see where Ace is. Is Ace actually going to save anybody? Oh, Delvey over here. Perfect find. Okay, we know that she was like towards the ship, it seemed. Like the shack ship thing. Let's see if we can find her anywhere. Excuse me. She's a toolbox. I don't think she, she has any means to heal herself. I could have sworn I just heard her. I did. She was at the shack, yeah. Ooh, nicely done. I went right past her. Slim not day. Good song. Good song. Let's go. Let's keep the show going. This next build is inspired by popular song Psycho Social. The goal here is to be loud and disruptive, then become stealthy and surprising. Monitor and abuse increases my terror radius while I've been chased by 8 meters. It decreases my terror radius by 8 meters when I'm not. Hex, Huntress Lullaby. For each time a survivor is hooked, skill checks become increasingly more difficult, then become completely silent at 5 tokens. Undone. Takes every missed skill check and grants 3 tokens, maxing out at 3. Whenever I kick a gen, the tokens available are consumed. Each token then grants 1% total progress loss and blocks the gen for each token used. In Dead Man's Switch, obviously. After someone is hooked, if any survivor stops repairing a gen by any means, it will become blocked for the duration the perk is active. Again, add-ons are huge here. I'm running both comm add-ons that increase my static blast radius to 46 meters when I'm in chase with monitor and abuse, but also reduces my terror radius to just 10 meters when static blast is on cooldown while I'm not in chase, allowing me to get the jump on survivors. First things first, where's the totem? Oh, it's in the school. Yikes, that's not gonna last long. It's kind of the tricky part of running totems, especially with the Blood Moon maps. Pretty simple to find them. So what we're gonna do first, get in chase with somebody, static blast, break from chase, and then we'll have a 10 meter terror radius with these add-ons. Here we go. Okay, I got nobody here. So we'll use this time to go find somebody else. We'll see. Yep, somebody's in here for sure. Yeah, we got pretty damn close. Holy shit. <laughs> it's pretty close. I'd say. All right. Let's break this pallet. She's probably going to go to school. Uh, 
Good shock, good shock, good shock. She got nothing. She's gonna go down here for sure. Go bonk here. Nice. All right, calm is almost back up. Same thing. We want to go ahead and try to find somebody. Then we'll static blast with DMS. This gen's done. Uh, how many are over there? Uh, I see just one. Let's hit the school. Let's get chase first. DMS already did, it. already did its job. All right, let's scoot, let's scoot back. Looking good. All three are here. Excellent. I'll make this. Gotta get a hit here for sure, though. <laughs> the mechanic is probably wondering why I just keep leaving. <laughs> nice. Let's go. Big down. Hopefully, I have five stacks of lullaby if it lasts that long. Then when we get some undone, uh, undone value. All right. Big tear radius. Let's go. Kayla again. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll give you the chase. I'll give you a chase. I'll give you a chase. <laughs> nice. Zone right out of there. That's a hit. Hopefully she'll take us back to um, where the hook is. Then we can set a glass again. This should be a down. Should. Nice, big one there. Let's go. No one has went down to the school yet. Thank God. All right. Where is everyone? Yep, that's DMS here. Static Blast here. Yeah, that's a big terror radius, dude. That's huge. We're going to let her go. I'm going to actually get a suit back over here. Yeah, see? There we go. <laughs> that's fun. We definitely shock her at the window. Do we another down? As long as we keep away from the school, we're gonna be looking good. There's K. Nice. Nice. That's our first miss skill check. We only have a few moments before calm comes off. Our static blast comes off cooldown. I keep saying calm, sorry. DMS here. Am I worried, worried about that gen? We know there's progress here. DMS here. Nice. Let's get in chase. Let's do it. That's gonna be another stack. Perfect. Let's get in chase. There's three here, so our static blast should work. Here we go. That's a big one. Look, I hit her all the way over there. So now what I want to do is I want to go jump over to this gen, scare her off it, and then we're going to use Undone and block it for a little bit. Hopefully we can get here in time. <laughs> Hell yeah, let's go. All right, we'll use our nine tokens. Slow down a little bit. I want to head to school. We know there's three over here. We're going to be very careful with them finding our totem. Oh my god, our Terry is so tiny. Oh, somebody's down here. Oh shit. Yeah, we're going to go over here. Check right here. She's right here. Perfect. That a glass? That's such a that's such a big this is a big a big shock. I said a stroke, it sounded like. Nice hello. <laughs> Probably gonna lose the quit now. So we we fell onto it long enough, I think. There we go. Nice. Nice. Another miss skill check. That's big. It's big, it's big, it's big. We've held on to this for so long. Our terrorist is very tiny. Not huge. DMS again. Nice. Another miss skill check. There we go. Perfect. She drops this. No big deal. Now we are in chase. Let's get a little bit closer to main and then we'll set a glass one more, one more time. Perfect. Big, 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 big. We have, we have nine undone tokens. I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna use them here. We just saw an hallucination over by the school. So I think it's time we, we get, we hit over there. Nice, what's up? <laughs> Dude, the 10 meter terry, this is insane. It's absolutely bonkers. I'm gonna use this to my advantage. Look at this. <laughs> I'm actually surprised that we've kept them away from that school for that long. That is bananas. That's so crazy. All done? All right. All right. All right, DMS over there. We've gotten value out of everything so far. I wish we had more, uh, more tokens. We could have farmed them a few, but I think kicking the one, uh, the gen on the Quinton house was what made the most sense. 
I think we can just end the game right now, to be honest. And that's it. Let's go. Hell him at three gens. I'm bad him. Huge, dude. So so much passive stuff. It worked out there. That's so much fun. Big shocks. Big blocks. Little tear radius. Not bad. My third build is inspired by the song Duality. On one hand, I want to be incredibly punishing up close, but also deadly from a distance. Enduring reduces the palace stun duration by 50%. Cooter Gross grants me two tokens that increase my launch by 80% each time a generator is completed. Hubris makes any survivor who stuns me exposed for 20 seconds. And save the best for last reduces my basic cooldown by 4% each time I hit someone that is not my obsession. Now for the range stuff. Iridescent Coin makes survivors exposed upon reeling them in, as long as the shot connects from at least 12 meters away. And Prison Chains increases the time it takes for survivors to break free from my chain by 10%. And of course, Amori, because it's Gem Root, man. Oh, school's in session. That sounds so stupid. <laughs> Damn it, man. Anyway, yeah, I'll fix it in post. Don't worry about it. Depending on where they are exactly. They went, went this way. Nice, nice, nice. Somebody else is here too. What the fuck? What are you guys doing? Hello? Hello? Oh, you've fallen right into my trap. All right, let's go. All right, Steve is our obsession, so we got to be careful with that stuff. You hear progress on this gen? Nice. Hello? Don't vault it. There we go. Somersault, looking good. Anybody else here? Hello? Now we're good. Okay, we're good. Where is everyone else? We haven't used Eerie Coin yet, so we got now we have to hit him with the duality. Nice. Looking good. Let's do a Giga Ram play. Incoming. Come on over. Well, that's Eerie Coin, but she's already injured, so it doesn't matter. Boop. Goodbye. They ate it, like, right over, uh, up here. Maybe she's back on this gen. Let's take a look. Let's see. I think the best case scenario is to actually leave Steve for last. Get it? Because of the perk. All right, first gen done. Now we have coup tokens. And these also apply when we're reeling people in. I go for a vault. I got a bad knee. There's a coup token, unfortunately. Uh, where's she going? Here we go. Almost got away with it. We can just coup this. Oh, yeah. Value, dude. Ooh, lots of progress here. Hi, Ada. Better get some distance. Oh, no. The stun. This could be huge. Nicely done. Ada knows about the sauce. Yeah, she definitely does. But as long as we get out of 12 meters, like right about... That looks good. Oh, my... That bitch! <laughs> Damn it, dude. Oh, here we go. All right, nice. All right, eight stacks. Four hooks. Probably going to lose a gen or two in the meantime. That's okay. She has laser focus, man. Almost got away. I think she breaks my chain here. Yeah. Cool, though. Oh! Very close. We'll stay in chase, huh? No big deal. Do coup again. Yep, 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 yep. This could be decent, but I'm going to have to get stunned somehow. See, this is what's crazy about the Death Slinger. I'm just going to show you this for science. So, because I technically hit him with the Redeemer, let's say I didn't actually reel him in. I broke the chain intentionally. I still lose two tokens, which is crazy, right? Cosmetic is so dope! Good stun. It's hubris, though. Try again. Found them all. She was exposed, and then she's also exposed from uh, hubris. I'm bad. To the bone. A little bit longer there. There we go! Alright, cool. Little bright up there. Ooh, nicely done. Good block. All right, that sharpshooter. He's coming down with us anyway. Let's get them both. Where are you going? 
Back here. Nope. Alrighty, buckaroo. Woo! Not bad. Boop. All right. We had some good shots there. For the finale of the video, I wanted to show you a build inspired by the song Left Behind. The goal here is to hit survivors super hard once all the generators are powered, leaving them all behind. For this build, I'm going to start with the add-ons first. BFFs grants me tokens for chain events while using Feral Frenzy. The more I chain, the more tokens I gain. Damn, that's pretty good. If 15 tokens are acquired, I then will be granted a 6% increase to my base movement speed once all gens are powered on. And Mural Sketch, which increases my Feral Frenzy speed by 0.3 meters per second for each hit during Frenzy. X, no one escapes death. Makes all survivors exposed once all gens are finished and increases my base movement speed by 4%. Batteries included. Increases my base movement speed by 5% whenever I'm within 12 meters of a finished gen. No way out. Locks the exit switches for a max of 60 seconds if I'm able to successfully hook each survivor at least once. And knock out. When I down a survivor, their teammates will not be able to see their aura if they're outside of 16 meters. They crawl 50% slower for 15 seconds, and their recovery speed is reduced by 25%. If everything goes according to plan, I should be moving at 130% movement speed as long as I'm near a finished generator. Like I said, they're all getting left behind. All right, Blood Lodge, baby. We need tokens. We need 15 of them to get fast. Very fast indeed. Let's see. First chase. Default, default Fung, not bad. Pallet probably goes immediately. Yeah, no. Does he look better? I'm losing my mind. Is there anyone that's within close proximity? No, we're, we're going to go back for her. Get a double tap. Here we go. Get some tokens for that. It's fine. That goes. Yep. Bye bye. I saw Nancy out in the on the distance too, so keep an eye on where where she's going. Not those over there on that gen. Did I just get double back. Oh, we're good. Yeah, we're good. We're good. We're good. Um, I should be able to pick this up. Yeah, we'll leave her slug for a minute. She has a knockout. She's all knocked out and such. I see another light, Steve. I'm going to lose my fucking mind, dude. Oh, God. There she is. There's our girl. Nice. Oh, we got four tokens. We're, we're probably going to lose a gen or two. It's expected, obviously. We need 11 more BFF Jills. Let's get a little bit closer than the Feral Frenzy. Hopefully, the people in check. That'd be awesome if there were. There is. I think I can make this. Oh, shit. Maybe not. Yeah, we can make this. We can make these. All day, baby. Alright. We lose that gen. We lose here. To be with the mind game. Oh! No. This is having a sort of pallets. Oh, yeah, I didn't break this one. But he, he goes down, though. There's no way he makes this. He makes this. Get those tokens! Yeah, we get him, though. It's fine. Better late than never, I suppose. You gotta be careful because everyone runs wicked nowadays too, so who knows? We'll see what happens. It's probably here, I think. Rip burst away. Get some batteries included. Nice little haste there. All right, two more tokens. That's 11. We have three gens, so we're kind of holding on somewhat on pace. Nice, she goes down. We get her here. Does she have the most juicy shit ever? No, nope, we're good. Okay, two gens remaining. Who is this? Oh. Um. Nah, I think we fin I think we finish this off here. Oh no! Sucks, man. Let's see what these guys are up to. Get that pressure. Tire pressure. All right. That's 13. Nice. I'm not really worried about it. It doesn't matter about hook states. Plans hopefully snowball at the end. I need to find Steve, though. That's our plan. Nice. Knockout. Let's go. Good evening. Is this Steve? Oh, fucking Nancy. I get the tokens, though. We cook. Cook with the tokens. Oh, oh. 
Nice. That's 15. We're locked. All right, fuck off, Nancy. I don't need you anymore. No pallet here. Batteries included. Giving us the juice. Bloodlust in this economy. Which way are you going, pal? I also double back. Big, massive Slipknot Moonwalks. Hide the stain. Hide the stain again. Oh my god. Insane. Insane mind games for the band. Boop. Good. All right, 15 tokens. Max tokens on no way out. We're going to hope to got the RNG in our no way totem. It's not bad. Fingers crossed. I'm just going to zoom around, actually. Oh, hell yeah, girl. Let's go. Batteries included. A little sprint burst. No big deal. We're all so fast. Slip on day. You got stuck in the Michelin? Same. Oh! All right, so everything goes according to plan. Once this gen pops, we're going to have no one escapes death. We're gonna have 15 tokens of BFFS, FFFS, this is, which means we're gonna be moving at a lot. And then, even better, batteries included yet, and we're gonna be moving super fast too. Next to, yeah, next to that, we're gonna be moving at 130, if I'm not mistaken, which is stupid fast. Slip not day! Stick it, bro! Hell yeah, adrenaline. There's one. Let's go. Where are the others at? I see one over here. Nice. That's no way out. We got some time. Oh my god, I'm moving so fast, dude. Okay, bye. There's that one. Our totem is over there. Not not bad. They got know it? Okay, let's pick up. That's good enough. Oh, it was this little rat that got it. Our little rat. They got him up. Good. I'm gonna use Fail Frenzy. Big spins. Got a little headache there. I'm gonna lie. Batteries included. Incredibly fast. It doesn't matter. Nice. So we're still moving faster on this gen. Solely because of batteries and BFFs. And that's GG. All right. Let's go, dude. That felt pretty good. Knockout. I think knockout helped a little bit. So we were moving at 121 plus batteries. So 126. 126%. No way would have gave us to 130. Yeah. Oh shit. Steve was running left behind. Perfect. Perfect ending. Perfect ending, dude. <laughs> Perfect ending. Oh shit, dude. That's pretty funny. <laughs> That's pretty funny.